Okay, we're going to have a look at creating a floor in this video. Now, when you're drawing your floors, make sure that you're on the floor plan that you actually want to draw the floor on. So that's the ground floor. And then once you click your floor tool in the ribbon bar, you'll see that it enters a different mode where everything in your workspace is grayed out. This is um, sketch mode. So what it allows you to do is sketch the perimeter of the floor with these draw tools that we came across when we were drawing walls. If you've already got walls drawn, the advantage is you can use this um, draw uh, pick walls tool and actually go around, click tab on all the walls that you've drawn, and you'll see that it has actually sketched a pink line on every single wall that we have drawn there, which is great. It means we have to do no real sketching. And you just click the green um, tick to finish that floor. And if we enter 3D mode, you'll see that that floor is actually drawn at the bottom of the walls. Now once we click on that floor again, out of sketch mode, you'll see in the properties bar we have an option um, to change its properties and its thickness. Um, we'll change that to in situ. And if we scroll down here, you also have a few other options and um, it also gives you some dimensions on the area of the floor, which is always good. So we'll close that 3D view and we'll go back to our plan. Now I want to click on the floor, so I'm actually going to tab through here until I find it. Now let me click that in 3D view. So I'll go back, go back to your 3D view and then click the edge of the floor and then we'll go edit boundary because we're actually going to add a little veranda to the front of the house. So now we'll close that 3D view and we're still in sketch mode, you'll see. Now if we zoom in and we delete these two pink lines here. If you remember the trim tool from the previous video, TR. So I'm going to trim the line on this wall to this one. And you can see that as we spoke about, it's giving us the, the, uh, the blue dash line showing us a preview of what it's going to look like. And once I finish that off, click my green arrow we'll be able to see that we have a little veranda there at the entrance to our house. So that's lovely. And as I said before, if you want to edit any of the properties of your wall, you can change what it looks like. Um, you know, uh, there we go, timber finish, etc. And it's going to change all these properties for you. Okay, that's wall, uh, floors. Okay, that's floors. Okay, so now that we've seen how to draw walls and floors, uh, we're going to go ahead and make this one-story house um, a two-story house. So um, make sure we're clicking on the floor plan we want to draw from. And we're going to click wall. And in the options bar, we're going to say unconnected because we don't actually have a level higher than level one at the moment. So unconnected three meters. Yeah, that's great. And I have the choice to either go through and draw these walls or use the pick tool on the walls underneath. So you can see grayed out underneath in the underlay is actually the floor plan below so that I know when I'm drawing um, where, my line, where my walls are sitting underneath. And I'm just going to trim TR, trim these walls to each other. Let's change that to fine. And we can see, okay, oh, well, that's great. So once we go to our 3D view, we can see that we have another set of walls sitting on um, top of our walls that were already there. Now we'll do a floor the same way, level one. Floor tool, it enters sketch mode, and we can do pick walls. Uh, finish. Oops. Where are they? Sometimes Revit will tell you there's an error, so you can see that my, I'm going to actually have to trim those walls to each other to make sure that it's a closed loop. You can see how they're overlapping there, so trim, TR, click on both the lines, and they trim nicely together. Now we should be able to finish it. It'll ask you if you'd like um, the walls to go up to touch to the bottom of the floor and we'll just say no.
otherwise it's going to leave a gap. So if we go to 3D again, we can see we've now got two levels here on this house um, with a floor on level one. Okay, lovely. Uh, 